and College Station's Puppy Station is now closed at the Post Oak Mall. This comes in the wake of a lawsuit filed by a former customer who holds the company responsible for the death of her puppy. We first brought you her story in June, and she and her partners in this case talked more about it with us this afternoon. I was serious about this. It was some way to show the community, show other people that it is possible to do something about it rather than just losing money and losing your pet and losing just so much for something that could have been prevented. Riley Peterson and her boyfriend adopted Kona from the puppy station in April of this year, and things were great for a couple of weeks. She started showing um, worse signs of her coughing and her having blood in her stool. They took Kona to the vet, who told Riley she had distemper and needed to be put down. That was in May. Shortly after, Riley started a Facebook group, Shut Down Puppy Station Now, to tell her story and unite people that have been affected by the pet shop in the same way. A lot of people came together to tell their own stories and just kind of a place to talk about it, if not get any resources on what to do and where to go from there. Using those resources, she filed a small claims lawsuit and won with the help of a couple of ladies she and met through the Facebook like group. We were able to demonstrate in court that not only did he know these puppies were sick, he knows that all of his puppies are sick. Kristen Sandlin helped with the research on this case, speaking for Riley in court, basing their argument on Texas property law. We went after him based on his contract. He states that he's, these puppies are in healthy condition and he offers a warranty on them. Then, of course, he doesn't honor the warranty. If those are the puppies, I've always dreamed of closing that place down and I thought this is something that individually I want to be involved with. Judy Leunas helped Riley and Kristen connect with community resources like animal control. My role was to help as someone who has been involved in animal welfare for over 40 years in the Bryan College Station area. But even though the lawsuit's over and Puppy Station is closed, their fight is far from over. Closing the puppy store down was step one, so we need to keep the pressure on. That isn't his style. So the next step is changing the local ordinance so no pet store such as this is allowed to ever exist. It's unclear the closing of the puppy station is a direct result of the lawsuit at this time. We reached out to the owner of the store, but our messages went unanswered.